Team Pokey Colors family. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to this video. This video is very exciting for me because it is a PSA submission video and we're going to do the guess that grade name game thing that uh, most YouTubers do. I think it'll be fun and exciting to go ahead and showcase the cards I'm submitting to PSA and taking a look at what we think they will grade. Uh, but before the video starts, guys, since you made it this far to the video, um, I will give you guys a code card. So make sure you guys smash like and subscribe. I'm giving you guys, uh, yeah, I know, right? I'm giving you guys a Champion's Path code card. Boom. There it is. Enjoy it. Let me know if you get any pulls. Um, if not, then it's fine. Um, and um, yeah, I'm also giving you another code card. Good luck. Champion's Path as well. Good luck uh, trying to figure that one out. Throwing a screwball at you. But nonetheless, guys, let's get into the cards that I'm going to be sending to PSA very soon. I'm actually dropping them off this week at a buddy's house. He's sending them out very shortly after this week to come. So most of these cards are pretty nice in terms of condition. I mean, there's some cards that could be better, could be worse. So, yeah, we're just going to go with this stack here. I already got them sleeved up and ready to go. First card I'm going to submit is a P or is a Fossil Dragonite. So, taking a look at the card here, um, he's a nice boy. He really is. My only concern with this fella is there is a vertical print line right there there you go you guys can see that perfectly right there right by the end of his tail so i don't know if they'll dock off a full point for that and the back i mean there is some whitening right here but it's very minimal it's almost like it was cut improperly to say the least but really it's a, a really nice card i think it's going to go for i mean it's got like a small scratch on the hollow too but centering looks fine to me and the back is fine. There is a little a whitening spot there too. A couple little ticks down the left side here, but mostly the card is in really good condition. Um, so I think aside from the print line, the vertical print line and the minimal scratch, I'm hoping for an eight or nine. Now, I don't know if they do 8.5s anymore, if they just do that with Charizards or what the deal is with 8.5s and whatnot, but Personally, I think it'll be a decent grade. 8.5 or 9 is what we're looking for, and hopefully we can get that. So we'll put him up here in the back so we can hang out for a bit. Next PSA card. Next card I want to grade is a Wiggly Tough, a.k.a. Big fi big Pink Fat Boy, as referred to by ZNG Emporium. But my only concerns with this guy, I mean, really... The back's phenomenal. It's just the front. There's also a vertical print line, and I'll show you guys that in closer uh, close up here. So my only concern with this guy is the hollow at the certain angles. I mean, the hollow looks fine. Like there's no deep scratches. Um, but if you hit the if you hit it just right with a light, you can see that it does have a vertical print line somewhere. Uh, let me locate it. Actually, I can't even see it. Uh, where is it? Maybe it doesn't have a print line. Maybe I'm just thinking of the other one. But nonetheless, it does have, if you can see right there on the right side edge right there, there is some silvering. Um, there's also some silvering on the top. I don't know if you could see that at all. Yeah, can't really tell. But top silvering and right side silvering. Um, centering looks a little shifted to the right, so I'm thinking an eight for this guy, for this fella. I meant to say guy, but I said goy and fella. I said goy, this goy, Conor McGregor. Anywho, I think he'll get an eight. If he gets a nine or ten, like shit, I'll take that. But banking on an eight for this guy, unless they find something that I don't see that would make it be worth like a seven, six, five, four. You know, hopefully not though. I tried to pick cards out of my collection that I knew were going to be uh, really good candidates for a 10 or 9 or 8. Next up is the Shiny Boy. Shiny Articuno GX from Hidden Fates. Um, pulled this card 
from a box or a pack or something Hidden Fates related. I don't really remember what I pulled it from. What is that? There is a little right here on his wing. Yeah, you see that? You can see it right there. Right? Okay, wait, hold on. Right under my finger, there's a little white speck right there. It's very, very hard to see. I don't know if they'll catch that or not. I didn't even see that. But it's in the shadows. And it's the light's hitting in a certain way. So I think it'll be okay. But really taking a look at this card, I mean, beautiful card as is, right? But here's the thing. I looked at a 10 on eBay. Not concerned about the price, but the centering. This centering is, like, phenomenal. And since I pulled it, it's packed fresh. There's no, like, heavy damage to the back or anything. There's no, like... There's no like corner ticks or side ticks like that Dragonite from earlier. So really this has a really good shot at a 10 in my opinion. And the fact that it's a Hidden Fates shiny is even cooler. So Articuno, hopefully man, you'll come back as a 10 and we can show you off as a 10. So hopefully you guys are having a great day. Glad to have you here, of course. Um, we have a box opening coming out either tomorrow or the next day. Not sure exactly when. Uh, Got to get the video downloaded and thrown together. Next up is Jungle No Set Symbol Snorlax. Now, this guy, this guy is good. Like he, ooh, like just saying that, like man, he is fresh. His only issue is, um, I think he's got silvery or a print line one of the two but here he is big man jungle snorlax waving to the camera hello hello mr snorlax how you doing centering looks fine to me i mean i don't see anything it's not off centered or nothing like that um taking a look at the holographic it literally is fine um there's very 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 hard to see well, actually, you can see them right there. The little scratches on the back right there. I don't know if they'll pick that up or not. You have to hold it at the right angle. So they might dock off a point for that. There's decent scratching on the back. Or minimal. It's not even a scratch, really. It's just like a rub. You can kind of see it right there at this angle. All the way up the side there. So I don't know what that... I don't know what that's about, but... They might they might give this fella a nine if they if they miss that and they don't find anything else. Okay, I do see very very small silvering at the top. It's like specks of silvering on the top here. So nine or ten for this guy. I mean, obviously a ten would be <laughs> would be huge, given that it's hard to grade. Anyways, but if this guy gets a ten, dude, we'll be chilling. And honestly, I don't know what a ten goes for, but I know it's a decent amount, and then also with it being a no set symbol jungle Snorlax, it might go for a pretty penny. So nonetheless, there's the boy going to the back. Next up, this guy, base set Charizard. You'll love to see it. The fan favorite, Charizard. Everybody loves a Chorizord. Um, so taking a look at this guy, he he's not bad. He is not bad. But he's not fantastic either. So he's got left side silvering, top silvering, uh, right silvering, and probably, yeah, bottom. So I don't know. I don't know if they'll count off one point for all four sides or if they do four points. But he's got silvering on both sides. He's got some corner, bottom nicks, bottom right corner nick, top nick. And centering's not too bad. I mean, really, overall, it's a great card and like condition-wise. The only problem is there's either a, I can't tell if it's a hollow like scratch or if it's a print line issue. Right there, there you can see the scratches. So I don't know what he'll grade. I'm, I'm not sure he's going to grade too high. I'm, I'm going to say five. A PSA five Charizard, though. I mean. It's my Charizard, dude. Like, I'll, I'll pay for it to be a 5. I don't care. Like, I'm not expecting this to get a 10. It's nowhere near near mint at all. It's probably moderately played to heavy, heavily played or cl damn near close to damage in terms of Charizards. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave a comment. What do you think this Charizard is going to get? Or 
if you want to leave a comment and what say if you know if you have experience with PSA let me know what you think they're all going to get and we'll compare our answers at the end so next up the boy Charizard V Max I mean there's nothing wrong with this card guys you saw me pull it on camera like a month ago there's really nothing that would make me think this wouldn't get a 10 the only thing that would be um, the issue is the centering so if you look here it looks more left than right as you can see from the left side to the right side of the bars on the right the bar on the right is a little bit thicker um, can't really tell top to bottom though because it is very hard to tell with all the rainbow and there's no like there's no bar at the bottom like the, there's no bar at the top like there's at the bottom so assuming the top and bottom's fine I think they'll let the left right slide because I did see a PSA 10 on eBay that looked damn near similar to the centering of this card. So yeah, hopefully we'll be good. Um, looking at the back there, I mean, it doesn't look too bad, so I'm not even going to take it out because this one here is going to be the big dog if it grades high. So VMAX Charizard Rainbow. And then we got another rainbow, Eternatus VMAX Rainbow. And taking a look at this, left to right looks pretty good centering wise, but the only only issue I see is it looks almost like the bottom left corner almost looks uncentered like if you look at this right here it almost looks shifted right a little bit too far so I'm, I'm pretty sure if they catch that it'll probably be a nine and there's nothing on the back to be concerned about so I'm just gonna leave in the top loader for time's sake not trying to keep you guys here all all day so nine on that boy this fella though this fellow might be a good 10 candidate. Uh, reason why I say that is because, number one, centering looks phenomenal, in my opinion. Although I don't have any other cards to compare it to, and I haven't looked it up on eBay. But, I mean, mm, if anything, it's right shifted and slightly warped. I don't know if they, do they, do they dock off if it's like curved, if you hold it flat? Like if it's not completely flat, do they, do they do that? Or do they not? I'm not sure. But, I mean, it's a minty freaking card, dude. I'm pretty sure I pulled this. Or if I didn't, then I got it off of eBay, which still ended up being a deal. Um, but either way, I'm hoping for a 9. Um, 9 or 8. 8 or 9 on this really wouldn't... I don't know. Wouldn't be too big of an issue if it got an 8, but... It's a Charizard, so might as well go ahead and grade it, right, guys? I have a bunch of other Charizards that I like to grade, but for my first PSA submission, I want to grade some cards that I know I'm going to hold on to if they grade high, and if they don't, then I'll just go ahead and sell them to you guys or whoever wants to buy a PSA 4 base set Charizard. If that's what ends up happening, that's what ends up happening. I'm keeping it, though, I'm just saying. And then lastly, Latios EX Delta Species. Now... Latias and Latios are two of my favorite Pokemon. The combo that they, I mean, I just love them. They're legendary too. So taking a look at the hollow of the Pokemon itself, there's really no scratching on it, which is really, really good. Um, what you're seeing there in the photo or in the camera actually is the artwork itself. It's got some like wavy stuff similar to the background. So those are not scratches guys. And if you look at the sides, Usually you can tell. So is there is, if you guys can see that, bottom, bottom, like right, right, right there where my pinky finger is, right there, there's a little tiny, tiny scratch. But everywhere else looks fine. Centering looks, I mean, centering looks as about as good as a centering can get on an old school EX. And then you flip it around, guys, and really, only issue is the bottom right corner. It's got a little, little minimal whitening to it and a little bit up the side here, but it doesn't go all the way up. It's not too noticeable. So I'm figuring an eight or nine, unless they find something completely just bogus or if the centering's completely off, I'm not sure. I mean, I'd love to get an eight or nine on this guy because I'd definitely show this off. He's one of my favorites and I love the artwork. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, there is my first ever PSA submission order. And I plan on doing some more PSA orders down the road, but we're gonna wait till these come back first and go from there so just to recap here we go we got one two three four five six 
seven, eight, and nine. Nine boys I'm gonna send off to PSA and get graded officially by the PSA graders themselves. So if you guys did find this video enjoyable and you made it this far, here's a code card. Um, let me see what this one is. Let me see what this one is. Um, okay, here we go. Here's a sun and moon on broken bonds code card code. So use that to your advantage and pull the rainbow zard from unbroken bonds for me. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to check out our future videos by subscribing with notifications turned on. I would greatly appreciate it. And oh, shoot, man. Stretching. Sorry. Yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys have a great day and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.